So if you look at this image that we took before we did any surgery, this is with her laying on her back before we started. We always start in the front because when I go to the front, I can take out this, un this incompetent disc, unstable disc, and then put a piece of bone in there that supports that space. So I'm gonna increase the height of this space, but also look at the back of this bone versus the back of that bone. This is what we call a spondylolisthesis. There's a break right through this bone. Normally the bone is a solid piece. There's a break right through here, right there. And what's happened as a result of that is that the spine has shifted forward. So what we're gonna do is we put the disc replacement bone graft in there so that it will fuse. And we do the same thing up here because this was also unstable on x-rays. And the reason we do x-rays is because when you stand up, it actually looks worse. This bone shifts even further when she stands up. So it shifts about halfway. We call that a grade two spondylolisthesis. So what we did was we put the bone graft in there, we put a plate over those grafts so they don't shift, and then we put those screws in that we described earlier, and the screws that the screw that's low will be pulled back by the screws above it with that rod and that extended screw head. So here's what it looks like now. So remember this, this bone and this bone are shifted out of place. And then now when you look at the back of that bone, here's the back of that bone, and here's the back of that bone. It's perfectly aligned. So now they're even and the spine is nicely curved. So we've reestablished the height of the disc. See how much taller the disc is now? And then we put another bone graft up here for that one that was also unstable. And now her spine is perfectly aligned. These screws are in place, the rod is bent, and her bone and her disc height allows the nerve which exits out of these holes to have plenty of room to exit. The, bo the broken bone on the back was also removed so that it doesn't press on those nerves anymore. And the scar tissue that compresses the nerves was removed. So her spine should be stable and over time this will fuse together as one solid bone.